The brave warrior has fallen into a trap. Can you escape before the monster catches you? Monster, catch warrior. You will swap places. Warrior, find the Ewit win. Only you, you can, only can get out as a warrior. Controls, last to move. C, monster, roar. Warrior, leave a mark. Okay. Okay, so it's just Wazda that can work. So you play as the monster. That helps out the warrior. Someone wet his pants. Oh, so you play as both, huh? Oh, is that it? No, it's just textures. Uh... I'm confused. Confuzzled, I say. sprite work. Darn it, I am dumber than the computer AI. Aha! Found ya. The audio leaves a lot to be desired. I can tell what it was generated from too. is the right direction. Yeah. I do appreciate the different color tile sets there because it does make it, make it a lot easier to navigate. You win! You found the E-Hit! The team! Oh. Okay. That was shockingly short. Amazing how Monster has stopped working. Uh, close program. So the whole point of the game was you keep swapping between these different characters, huh? I don't think I particularly understood the objective of the game. Like, why is it that you can control between these two different monsters? And then as monster and warrior. I don't know, that's kind of strange. To be fair, they're also running Linux. Which version of Linux? I know that's X-Vice. Hmm. Anyways, before I get too far into my, uh, too far into that, let's actually start rating them. I'm confuzzled by the gameplay. So I guess that's innovative, per se? I did like the fact that you can play as both a villain and a player. It's just that the swapping mechanic between the two was kind of strange. I guess, like, you kind of take turns in playing each, which is a little strange, because playing at least the, you know, monster in comparison to the warrior, I, you know, as a monster, I pretty quickly figured out where the portal was and then from there it's like oh and then what 
supposed to happen now? Do I just kill the warrior and then trace back my steps? And that's exactly what I did, and apparently that's what you're supposed to do. So I found that kind of a bit strange. Um, the audio was, to be honest, very dreary, so I wasn't particularly a fan of that. Fun. Um, I think I had a little bit of fun too with it. It's just kind of like, I was more confused if memory, if anything, but um, like I was trying to piece out together the details, and it wasn't the, it wasn't a, you know an unpleasant experience. So, but yeah, I did find it interesting on trying to piece out all the details on the map itself and trying to recall and retrace my steps. I did like the fog of war portion of the um, game, so I thought that was pretty cool. Not fog of war, the fog portion of the game. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this is an interesting interpretation where you play as both the monster and the player. So that's really cool. I not quite what I expected, but it was quite interesting nonetheless. Um, definitely not humorous. And the mood kind of left the 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 audio kind of left more to be desired from here. Um, Honestly, I'm kind of, so for overall, I do think it's more of an average game, but I'm kind of confuzzled by this game, if anything. There's a lot, there seems to be a lot that wasn't explained to me, and I just found that it was really weird. But yeah, cool. Um, like the foggy effects that required me to piece together what the entire map maze was like. That said, I was confused when the monster suddenly turned back, turned into a warrior on the opposite side of the map after roaring a lot was that supposed to happen? Either way, switching between these two characters via tag was really cool as a gameplay mechanic. But also left me confused with the intent 